all the way up to Galway from Limerick. Carmen or Limerick. She's going to do the slanger for you tonight. I tell you what, slanger everyone. Slanger. It is Wednesday morning and I have an Irish show on Friday night. And I'm freaking out a little bit because this whole year has just been one thing after the other. I won't bore you with the details. If you want to see more information about what I've been, what's been happening, yeah, I'll link the video in the description. You can check that out. But to cut a long story short, I've been traveling a lot for work. And then I've been on medication that caused problems with my body. And then on top of it, I had a quite a serious back injury that put me out for quite a while. In fact, I'm currently still struggling with this back problem. Um, but yeah, yesterday I did a little bit of a very easy, stretchy kind of yoga sesh. And then today, Wednesday, I've had to now just suck it up, do some ballet, do a basic bar, stretch out my back do a bit of other stretches i feel like i haven't danced the whole year probably because i haven't but yeah anyway after doing a bit of bar and stuff i went on to just practicing some irish but it felt really good to just put on my irish shoes and dance again the back pain was a bit there but it wasn't too bad while i was dancing um i think definitely was struggling what i'm struggling more with is my fitness uh, and I have three days to get fit, so wish me luck. Wow, that was the first practice. <sighs> After coming back from Cape Town, I'm tired now. <laughs> I think I just, all I did was a bit of plies, batman tendus to warm up, a little bit of a degage exercise with some PKs thrown in, and then I did just a random kind of stretch warm up thing. And it felt so good to be able to move my back more than what I have been. Um, there's still a little bit of a tinge, but it could be a bladder, um, a kidney infection now. So I'm actually going to go to the doctor tomorrow because usually it would be 100% fixed by now after being to the chiropractor twice. Yeah, but it's still not 100. So anyway, I'll go to the doctor tomorrow and see. Okay, and then after that, I did a little bit of the soft shoe dance that I'm going to be doing on Friday night. I couldn't remember the choreography at all <laughs> and slowly bits and bobs came back to me and then I think I did St. Patrick's Day two times and the hornpipe once so I've got two more days to get fit <sighs> tomorrow and Friday during the day because Friday night is the show I always leave these things for the last minute but in my defense if you watch my previous video you'll know why anyway today's practice is done I'm tired hot and it was a good one. I'm remembering the hard shoe dances at least. <sighs> and also I actually filmed um, my hard shoe practices with the microphone on my uh, sock so it did come off a bit but anyway I'll show you this in a bit now of what it sounds like. I still haven't listened to it. Hopefully it's okay. Probably missing a lot of beats but <sighs> it is what it is. <laughs> It is now Thursday and back at it again, doing a little basic bar and working on the Irish dances again. I forgot some of the choreography, but I managed to find a video where I found the dance and so that saved my skin, basically finding that video. I remembered the dance now and all is good. Interesting story actually, I went to the doctor this morning because we thought maybe it was a kidney infection turns out it's not a kidney infection it is a pulled muscle or something wrong with the muscle but anyway I've got two jabs one in this cheek and one in this cheek uh, the jabs weren't actually that sore but this one I don't know I think this is a cortisone or something that was like felt really uncomfortable when it went in but 
Look at this. I can feel it ever so slightly. Previously when I was doing this, it would be too sore. I couldn't do that. And now look. I can feel it pulling just a little bit now. But he said by tomorrow it should be hundreds. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> okay, that feels a little bit uncomfortable still. My glutes are very stiff. I'm feeling so good today. I'm so happy. I'm dancing, guys. I'm dancing. There's a bit of a tinge, but I'm dancing. I do realize that um, I should be careful because it's anti inflammatory, I guess, and cortisone. So I guess it could mask the pain as well, but I'm hoping that it's actually just released that muscle. And I know I should be more careful. Please just, you guys, be careful if you ever do get an injection and you go into dancing. But me, I'm just too happy. I'm too happy. I can't not celebrate. And this is how I celebrate, so. In the evening we had a rehearsal the day before the show and that was good. It's always good to see my fellow Irish St. Patrick's Day show givers, um, the violinist and he's brilliant, such an awesome violinist, a fiddler, brilliant, brilliant, so talented. And then Charles on the guitar and vocals, what a voice. He plays the guitar so well, so good. And then Kath McLennan, she plays piano, ukulele, as well as singing. And her voice is incredible. It is so powerful, so strong. Um, and then we also have Axel, who is acting and singing. What a performer. Hilarious. Has me in stitches, has crowd in stitches. He really is such a passionate actor. And then also we have Paul the director <laughs> and what can I say about Paul except that he is such a joy and a delight to work with he is so spirited and he is, has such a passion for what he does I mean you can just see how he just absorbs his character and yeah what a great group of people to work with I loved every minute of it it is now Friday the day D-Day the day of this show this Irish St. Patrick's Day. Now it's not really like on a stage or anything. It's just pretty much open plan, but not because it is a restaurant. But now the problem came in where there was just tables and chairs everywhere and cables on the floor and waiters and waitresses walking past everywhere and people moving out from their seats to sit comfortably to watch the performances. It was lots of fun, but you know, you've got to have a good sense of humor when it comes to performing at restaurants and that because 
the reality is it's not going to work out most of the time how you have choreographed it or worked on it at home. Now you've seen my studio, it's tiny, it's small, so I thought that maybe the studio, the floor would be about that size, but when I got to the look, um, to the venue, I realized, oh no, sure, but this is vastly different, uh, and again, I completely forgot that there would be waiters walking around and stuff like that. But anyway, as a dancer and as a performer, you've got to kind of like put your feelings aside and your thoughts of what you had practiced. And more often than not, you're going to have to change choreography on the spot, which can be very challenging. But I encourage you with this, if you are doing solo dancing, then... Nobody knows your choreography, only you do. So don't let that dissuade you or make you feel like you are ill-prepared or anything like that. Just own it. Like I said, you're the only one that knows the choreography. So you're not letting anyone down. You've just got it, especially if you're in like a, a restaurant setting and that. The whole point is for you to get people, give people yes. That's, I guess, the Afrikaans word for spirit and... Yeah, so you just bring the chias, you bring the enjoyment from your side, okay, you bring the crowd in, done. you just interact with the crowd. If you feel like there's not much space to move, then start clapping with the crowd, start interacting with the crowd more. Yeah, they love that. I, I probably could have done more of that, but anyway, I did do a little bit, but... Yeah, just really start leaning into the crowd and start feeding into the enjoyment for being there. Yeah, if I could just encourage you that when you are dancing in a location that is not what you were expecting, it's, like I said again, like I'm, and I'm going to say it again, nobody knows your choreography, only you do. So if you change something, no one's going to notice. Just own it, be confident about it, and know that people are there just to have a good time. Gosh, I know this video is so late because St. Patrick's Day was like, how many weeks ago? But again, so much in my life has happened again. Now let's check the wooden table. With those let's check the wooden table. This is going to be great fun. This was Mark's idea. Let's have a look. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, we've got the tattoo. We've got Mark's in the tattoo forever on the table things look like they are leveling out and my back is feeling a whole lot better I want to tell you guys this two-week break that I took from social media from filming from editing from okay except for filming and editing for my actual work that I do it was so good for the soul so also another little bit of advice is that sometimes you just need to switch off and take a break you know, I know people say you've got to be consistent with social media and you have to show up every day. But the reality is that we are also human and you also are allowed to switch off. I mean, I don't know why I put people put all this pressure that you have to be there all the time. So just if you feel like you need to take a break, take that break. I promise you, your body will thank you. Your spirit will thank you. Your soul will thank you. Your mindset will thank you. Uh, and now that I'm back, I feel like I can really hit the ground running. So yeah, do not punish yourselves for taking a break. Because at the end of the day, it will pay off. You will feel better for it. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that that provided some encouragement. Um, and also a little bit of a sneak peek as to what went down with this show that I was dancing in. Uh, but y'all be blessed, lots of love, and I'll see you guys in the next one.